Hey, good evening. So I uh, am replacing this fuel pump on my BMW K100 motorcycle. And um, I replaced the fuel hoses and the wiring, which is part of the fuel uh, gauge sender unit. Which is kind of frustrating because it really doesn't even have a fuel gauge. It just has like a, a low light. <clears throat> but whatever. So I ordered this on Amazon. It was uh, $79. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. Let's get these out of here. Let's just see what we got. So, so it's an experienced seller. Please leave us a product review. Da 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 da. Whoa, let's see. So, it's kind of funny they included the little boots because these aren't part of the kit and they're likely to disintegrate. But they did include a very nicely packaged pump. Let's see if we can get it out of here. So far, it looks like a dead ringer. Yeah, this is definitely a dead ringer. Nice, they bothered to cap it. So. Yeah, this is definitely a dead ringer. So, let's get busy. First things first, we need a wrench to undo this. And I, you will notice that I have stuffed a paper towel in here to prevent unauthorized junk from getting into my fuel tank. I'm going to bring out a little magnetic parts tray. I just, I really want to keep track of these screws because they're easy to lose and they're not normal sizes probably. And then there's a different wrench size that goes on the other side. And it's not that one. Let's see if it's maybe this one. Yay, that's it. So I'll set that there, put those in order. Now I need a screwdriver. This will do. Typical BMW fashion, it's always inconvenient to work on. I don't have the finger, hand strength for that, so let's see if we've got, yep, I've got two more screwdrivers here. I just need more leverage. So we'll back that off. And we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. We're having problems here, so I don't know if this is going to, there we go. All right, and now it's just a simple matter of slide this off. Um, and then this should come off on the top. Slide this back down, slide this one. Back on. So if it doesn't fit on one, it will fit on the other. 
although it would probably fit better if I put it on in the right direction. And then I want to be careful not to over tighten this. So I'm just going to take it snug because I don't think these are very strong. And if you over torque them, I think you'll shear them internally. Now, in all fairness, it did come with new hardware, but I've chosen to reuse what I know works. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a test. So I'm going to turn these on. I'm just holding the pump. I want to feel it go. And I can feel it and I can hear it. So I know that this is solving my problem. So next what I need to do is connect my fuel hose and tighten my clamp. Now I've got to manage to snake this back into its uh, assigned position. It is a little bit of a challenge and it would help if the tank was empty, but it's not. The biggest thing here is to make sure you do not tangle the wire up, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. So the way to do that is the wire just needs to go one way and the pump needs to go a different way. And this is part of the reason I'm wearing gloves. And then if you twist this, it will drop into place. All right, so that's there. And then you can fold this around. working on now is the uh, hose clamp. All right, there we go. The hose clamp is t a tight fit, and of course you're working one-handed. And then before I do this, I'm gonna push this fuel filter to where I want it. I'm actually gonna push it up against the vent tube, and then I will zip tie it there so it doesn't rattle, because I'm just allergic to extra noise on my bike. And we'll leave this hose clamp positioned where I can get to it with a screwdriver. And the easiest way to do this is with a screwdriver like this. This is really hard to do blind, so I'm going to stop and put on my headset. I'm 
new set of gloves. So I think we're there. I think we're at the moment of truth. Does it run? And I'm pretty sure it will run. So I'm gonna do a little cleanup here. It needs a really good washing. So that's a really good sign. Almost there, still gotta prime it a little bit. Yep, almost. So I've turned on the choke, which will um, I believe it runs. Shadow's just smoking a little bit, but she's been sitting for two years, so I'm not at all frustrated or annoyed by that. But I am just dying to know if this stupid $200 fuel sender works. And the answer to that would be no. It does not trigger the low fuel light on. But it did fix the wiring problem, which I think was patently unsafe. So I've got a little bit more to do, so we'll go ahead and we'll roll while we uh, do this. So what we need to do is put this back in place. Now, this opened backwards, and I'm going to go ahead and preserve that because I actually think that there's an advantage to that. And I need to find a cross-tip screwdriver. work.
that's hurting my hand, so I'm going to switch to drill gun. There we go. So, that's it, friends. She's good as new. Smokes a little, but she runs great. So, and she will be going up for sale here very shortly. I need to wash it and prep it, and then I'm gonna list it up for sale. It's got a clear Texas title. Um, it is a salvage title. You know, it's a 30-year-old motorcycle, and it's probably been knocked over once and had an insurance claim, and that's about all it takes to get a salvage title in the state of Texas. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos.